Okay, so <clears throat> first of all, I like to say that I find serial killers fascinating as well. Um, the fact that they could just be so disconnected and just like have no emotional any emotional like attachments or feelings um is pretty interesting and um I think a lot of areas in the mental health um in mental health are interesting um Like, especially, like, things that are, like, extreme, like you said, like, serial killers or, like, people with multiple personalities. Um, I definitely find them interesting. And handicapped people, um, are very sweet. And I think that, like, our society, like, um, we really look down on them. And we don't treat them, I don't think, as well as we should, you know. They're kind of, like... A forgotten part of society you know um, and like I have an uncle that is handicapped and I know that he like he lives in a group home and um, I know the people there probably aren't all that nice and don't treat him that great you know like and I think that people that do go into working with people that are handicapped um, or have um, any type of problems or sick, like, you have to be, like, a certain type of person and, um, you have to be caring and, you know, patient and a lot of people that do do that aren't caring or patient and, um, they just do it for money, you know, and that's, that's not really a job that you can do just for money. Um, <sighs> I've thought about mental doing a career in mental health before but it does take a while I guess it varies like depending but um if I were to I would like to work maybe with like people with addictions um or like really obese people because um that kind of touches a place in me because I know that for me um Food has kind of always been a comfort, and I understand how, you know, easy it is to be dependent on that. And for, like, the people that become very obese, you know, like, um, people don't realize that it do that doesn't happen overnight, you know, like, you don't end up weighing 600 pounds overnight. And those people really have a problem, you know. It's not just that they're fat and they eat too much. Like, that, they do eat too much, but it's, like, you know, psychological reasons. Um, so if I were to go into mental health, I would like to work with um, people like that. Um, but I think you should go for it. Like, you should really look into it and um, you should go for it. Especially, like you said, if seeing those kids at that game or well the the people at the game that had um disabilities made you so happy like you should incorporate that in your life like so it could, could make you happy um what did you demand for me to tell you let's let me think okay you asked what are the classes i'm taking um besides math i'm taking anatomy two I'm taking a lab for anatomy too, so anatomy lab too. Um, I took the first part last semester, and um, what else am I taking? I'm taking a piano class. That's gonna be like my stress reducing class. Um, I took jazz with the same professor a couple semesters ago. So I enjoyed that class, so I told him I was going to come back and um, take a piano class with him so that I can learn how to play Bach and play better than him because I would like play around the, comp the not the computer, that's what I've been doing all day. Um, the piano, I could play better than him, but he's like, oh, he's a champion, piano, whatever, whatever. Um, what else am I taking? I'm taking Spanish. 
because I need a language. I took sign language for two semesters, but I guess it doesn't count as a foreign language because it's American sign language, but whatever. I enjoyed that class, and if they offered more at my campus, I would definitely take more sign language, sign language classes. Um, what else am I taking? Oh, <clears throat> I'm actually taking a psychology class um, this semester. I'm taking a class called... Um, personal effectiveness I think that's like part of it but whatever but it's with a professor that I took um, a couple semesters ago I took human sexuality with him and I met like a lot of friends in that class and he was an awesome professor and I've heard a lot of good things about the class so I'm taking that mm. I feel like I'm missing something. Math, anatomy, anatomy lab, Spanish, personal effectiveness, and piano. Yep, that's it. I'm taking six classes. And um, so I'm actually looking forward to going to school because as of right now, I am still living dead. My cat wants to be in a video. <laughs> I'm the living dead. And I haven't been doing anything but watching TV and using the computer. And I tried to watch the real, L, not the real, the L word today. And I successfully watched one episode with a lot of searching. I have season two on DVD, but that's it. I don't have any other seasons. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I have Netflix, but... um. When I had the part of it where you could take out DVDs and stuff, I never used it. So I canceled that part. So now I just have live streaming, and they don't offer the L word live streaming. So whatever. Fuck it. I don't know what else. I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the day. Be lazy, definitely. But I don't know. I'm looking forward to going to school because it means I'm actually going to have to get dressed and um, be an uh, active part of real life. You know, instead of being in my apartment all day like a zombie. Um, oh, you said shave, if you should shave the other side of your hair. I would say that the only reason why it would make sense to do that was then it would be even. So, like, if you ever wanted to let them grow back, then they both would be even and they would grow back at the same pace or whatever. Because I know... In the past, like before I had a mohawk in high school, I shaved like a little side of my hair. And um, when it grew back, I looked really stupid because like I had like hair sticking out on this side and everything else was normal or whatever. But so I'd say like the, the benefit of it would be that it would grow back. Um, this is a really getting to be really long. So I think there that I am to end it so um subject for next video oh, I would kind of like to know like what made you stop eating meat how long have you been doing it um do you ever have like the urge to eat meat um so yeah let me know take care say bye cupcake <laughs> Ignore all the junk on my floor. <laughs> Alright, bye Kiwi.